Turns out Ray was almost a Kenobi. The dead speak. That's right, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker has crawled from its sandy tomb once again to make the internet discuss Rey's lineage. In an interview on Jimmy Kimmel Live with her good friend Josh Gad, Daisy Ridley was asked if she knew the secret of Rey's parentage from the beginning of the sequel trilogy. Ridley bluntly responded, saying, No. no. At the beginning, there was toying with like an Obi-Wan connection, and then um, it really went, there were like, different versions and then it really went to that she was no one. What? <laughs> the theory of Rey Kenobi was a popular one coming out of The Force Awakens even though it didn't actually happen. So it's crazy to finally hear that it was actually on the table at one point. After all, an Obi-Wan connection could have been more interesting than the Palpatine connection because it would have highlighted how the Jedi Order was flawed and full of hypocrisy. As anyone who watched The Clone Wars knows, Obi-Wan totally had the hots for Mandalorian Duchess Satine, so theoretically, Obi-Wan could have fostered a child who went on to have Rey. This revelation could have forced Rey and Luke to acknowledge and challenge the flaws of the Jedi Order, and then seek to build out something new and better in its place. And watching Luke train the granddaughter of the man who trained him, I'm welling up with near tears just thinking about it. But that's not what happened. What did happen, as Ridley recounts in her interview, is that instead of being a Kenobi, Rey was just going to be a nobody, as revealed in The Last Jedi, but then Episode Nine came along, and changed her lineage again. Ridley said, And then it came to episode nine and JJ pitched me the film and was like, oh yeah, Palpatine's granddaddy. And I was like, awesome. And then two weeks later, he was like, oh, we're not sure. So it kept changing. So then even I was filming and I wasn't sure what the answer was gonna be. It's no surprise that JJ Abrams kept flip-flopping on Ray's lineage while coming up with the story for episode nine because, well, it, shows when you watch the movie. Ridley's interview confirms what we knew all along, that Disney did not come up with a plan for the sequel trilogy. Of course, the original trilogy didn't have a plan either. Darth Vader wasn't always Luke's father, and Leia wasn't always Luke's sister. So you can see what Disney was going for with the sequel trilogy by giving the filmmakers the same creative freedom. Although this time around, it blew up in their faces like Ben Quadraneros' Podracer. So despite all this, the interview does end with quite the spicy mic drop. Gad questions who is Ray's grandmother, to which Ridley replies, You tell me, Josh. As a fellow Josh, I am at a loss for words and truly do not know how to get the answer to this question. But knowing how the Star Wars media machine works, we'll get the answer to that question when it appears in a Rise of Skywalker production Bible coffee table book thing uh, available for purchase on Amazon for $39.99. So, hearing what could have been, do you think that Ray should have been related to Obi-Wan Kenobi? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow and subscribe wherever you like to watch IGN, and for more news, stay tuned for the next IGN Now.